Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing a full test and review of the S1R Baton, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Now, like I said, we are going to be doing a full torture test and review of the S1R Baton by Olight. Now as you can see, it's really, really, really small. And I decided to throw this side by side for size comparison. So you can see it's even smaller than the S1A Baton, which is one of the smallest flashlights I've ever used. Now what makes this flashlight so impressive? is at this size, look at this, it's the size of my thumb. It's less than an inch round. It weighs less than two ounces. It's two and a half inches long, but it's throwing on Turbo S 900 lumens. Now down in the description box below, I'm gonna put all the nerdy tech specs down there, all of the different run times and the modes. For short reference, it's a single button operation. And one of my favorite parts about this is the deep pocket carry clip, but also the fact that it has an awesome and very strong magnet that pretty much sticks to absolutely everything. It has a single mode button design, so when you're using the operation of the flashlight, it changes modes very quickly. I like that a lot about the flashlight. Oh, and something what I noticed is while I was doing this is it didn't get hot on me. This didn't uh, start burning my hand and getting hot like some of the other models. Like this one gets really hot, but it's 9,000 lumens. I mean, that's to be expected. So let's cut to some clips and get straight to the test footage. All right, so we are out here with the S1R baton and we're gonna go for a little walk. Nine hundred lumens. That's no joke. This thing is crazy. All right, from the off position, you press and hold for a second, and this brings up the firefly mode. You can't really even see it in the dark. It's imperceptible. But then, if you keep holding it and cycling through the modes, you get low, medium, high, and you double tap. You get turbo, which is this is the full nine hundred lumens. And it's really, really bright. See, it reflects off that sign pretty crazy. And then in a panicking situation, you triple click and you get strobe. And you single, you simply just press to go back to the same, same mode you were before. So I hope you guys enjoy the walk. Now, let's move on to some serious torture testing. Out here with the S1R baton. And we're gonna throw it off my balcony way down there. So, let's go. Survived drop one. So, let's go it again. Let's throw it a little farther. This will be the third and final throw. So, for this one, we're just gonna simply drop it. The S1R Baton, this little 900 lumen pocket monster, passed the three 15 foot drop tests. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into firefly mode and we are going to submerge it underwater. So, it has survived 10 minutes underwater. It is 8.51, so now we're gonna go stick this in the freezer. And we're gonna throw this thing 
and a big old block of ice and see if it's still working when it's done. So it is 11.26 p.m. Sorry that was a little fuzzy. But it is finally starting to freeze. All right, it is almost one o'clock in the morning. And this thing is still frozen. So it's been super, it's been frozen for about four hours. I'll let it go for like another hour. That gives it a four to five hour window of being subjected to freezing temperatures. It's two o'clock in the morning. This thing is pretty big, solid. The light is still on, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this thing defrosted. Still on. Still cycles through all the modes. Just fine. Now, the big question can this tiny flashlight survive a 50 foot drop off a bridge? We're out here with the S1R baton, and like always, it is a long, long way down. Alright, so we're down here below the bridge. Again, we got Jen up there with the S1R baton, and she is going to drop that bad boy all the way down here. And as you can see, there's rocks everywhere, so this could get very bad for the flashlight really, really fast. Oh man. This thing took a beating. But structural integrity looks good. Let's see if it still works. You guys won't believe this. <laughs> yes. Cycles through all the modes. Just fine. The fact that these flashlights still work after hitting rocks and being falling from that kind of distance, I mean, that's just impressive. The fact that they still work and they perform so well under pressure. I gotta say, in this category, Olight definitely has my vote for EDC flashlights, survival flashlights, pretty much anything as it stands right now. Now, as you can see, the S1R Baton had absolutely no problem passing even the most brutal testing. I mean, this thing was crazy. It survived three 15-foot drop tests, survived being submerged underwater for over 10 minutes. It also survived freezing temperatures, being frozen solid while on in a block of ice for several hours. And then at the end of all that, it survived what I consider the ultimate test, which is a 50 foot drop test, which is the ultimate test for structural integrity of the flashlight. And as you can see, it still works amazingly well. Now for EDC flashlights, these have got to be some of my favorites. You'll be seeing a lot of testing on these. But um, what I like about this flashlight is when you take the battery out, and it is powered by a 550 milliamp RCR 123 alpha rechargeable battery and it works really really well with my magnetic charger I just got in the mail from Olight. Now something kind of unique about this is it actually goes in backwards. And that's something to note, don't stick it in um, the positive end first, it won't work. Well, that just about does it for today. Definitely throw a big thumbs up to this video. And for all of the gear that I mentioned, including the S1R baton, I have thrown some Amazon buy links down in the description box below. Now, by purchasing from those links, you're actually be helping support the channel. But the great awesome thing about that, it doesn't raise your end user prices. It just allows us to keep doing what we're doing and make awesome videos for you. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.